Hey gear seekers, I'm Nick. It's time for a custom water cooled PC build. It's been such a long time since we've done something as cool as this. Today we built in the Antec Cannon. Um, by today, I mean this one took me about two days to build. Now, with these videos on the channel, we build them and design them to inspire you guys to build beautiful PCs of your own. So we're not benchmarking this system at all. You get what you get, ladies and gents. It's pure eye candy because this case is pretty darn beautiful. So let's see how it came together.
All right, ladies and gents, I hope you enjoyed the build in the Antec Canon. Let's quickly chat about some of the parts because we did no testing because it's eye candy. The CPU is the Intel Core i9-12900KS. We put the 12900KS on the ASRock Z690 Aqua Gear Seekers Edition. Pretty cool, huh? To cool everything, there's a custom loop. So yeah, lots of different components. I, I'm not gonna put a list for all the fittings and the whatnot because there's just too many to mention here, but I'll put some of the main water cooling components in the description down below so you can check out some of that. But yeah, there's just too many fittings for that kind of stuff. The RAM is 32 gigs of G-Skill Triton Z5 DDR5 memory. The cable extensions are custom made cable mod cable extensions in black and gold. You guys have seen this kit many, many times, so I decided I'd pull it out because it kind of suits this build. The GPU is the XFX Speedstar Radian RX 6900 XT. This is actually a collab between XFX and EK, so this water block comes on this GPU in the box. There is no air cooler for this GPU whatsoever. All the fans are the brand new Leon Lee SL120 Infinity Uni fans. All the tube runs in this loop were actually quite easy to do because I use mainly straight tubes for all of it and I only had to bend one 90 degree bend for the whole thing because I wanted to use 90 degree elbow fittings because I think it kind of suits the aesthetic for this build. So yeah, I just decided to do it that way. I used all acrylic tubing for all of it as well. So it's not PETG. It's a lot harder to manipulate if you're not comfortable with water cooling. And also it's a lot harder to cut, but it looks a lot better because the finish on it is a lot more shiny, right? And reflective. So all the light and everything bounces off it. Just looks cooler. That's why I wanted to use it in this one. The coolant's nothing special here. It's basically just blue dye in some clear coolant. It's EK blue dye. And every time I mix coolant like this, I always want it to be darker and it's always kind of dark as I mix it, then it's lighter, whatever. I'm gonna make it darker so it doesn't even matter because by the time you have seen all the footage, it would already have been darker. Does that make sense? Yeah, everything gets filmed out of order. That's how YouTube works. Another thing I wanted to mention with this loop is I had the riser cable plugged into the top PCIe slot, but because this is basically a, let's call it a show build, I moved the riser cable and plugged it into the bottom slot so it's not as ugly. It's still kind of ugly with the riser cable, but whatever. It does look a bit better because there's nothing really covering those mirrors on the motherboard. I wanted to make this video basically just so you guys had something cool to watch this week because I'm gonna say it again, it's the calm before the storm. Over the next month or so, we know what's happening with the releases and stuff. I'm not confirming or denying anything, but I mean, it's just about that time. So we're going to be very, very busy. So over the next week or so, we're gonna be taking some time out for ourselves. Obviously we'll be releasing some videos in that time, but you know, we just need to recharge before we get really busy for the rest of the year because we've got DreamHack coming up because we're going to DreamHack. We've got PAX coming up, which we're also going to as well. So we're going to be two busy little bees running around like crazy people for the next however long. Anyways, guys, if you like the music you heard here, I make all the music. It's available by clicking that join button down below. Make sure you get yourself subscribed hit the like button, ring the notification bell. Once again, thank you so very much for watching. I'm your boy, Nick with Gear Seekers. You peek, we seek, and I hope you enjoyed seeing this beautiful Antec Canon build come together. As mentioned, there's a PC part pick list down below, so you can check out that list if you want to see what everything is.